Ask Reddit by V for your attention. What screams I'm a bad parent? Using your kid as therapy and then getting upset when they have issues regulating their emotions. My mom. 100%. She told me some really heavy stuff about her childhood when I was 6. So I spent a good deal of my early adulthood figuring out how to process my own problems. Not believing in telling your children no. The world will and should tell them no at times. They need to be prepared for that reality, or they will be an absolute menace to everyone around them. I never understood the never say no to your children concept. Understanding and respecting the word no is the fundamental cornerstone of bodily autonomy, consent. One of the most important social concepts the child will have to learn. They need to understand both that they have the right to say no, a right they need to learn very early on, and that they have a responsibility to respect when others say no. Your adult children don't talk to you. Yeah, it took me a while to understand that me wanting to go no contact with my parents is a failure on their part. Not mine. Zero interest in the kid. Doesn't care what they do or what happens to them as long as they don't inconvenience them. Only caring for the child when they do what you want them to do. For example, if they play the sport you want them to play. Invalidating your child's feelings, struggles, and or mental illness in favor of you don't know what struggling really is or some form of back in my day or you kids are so weak. You have just robbed your child of support told them their feelings do not matter, and informed them that you are not a safe person to confide in. I remember coming home from freshman year in high school after a particularly bad round of bullying that day, mid-90s, and trying to talk to mom about it. All I got was... Life's a bitch, sooner you realize that the sooner you'll get over it. It'll never be fair. Zero sympathy, no empathy for sure. Fairly sure tough love was the agenda thinking but lack of love is what I took away from it. On one hand, my mom's not wrong, life is fucking hard and definitely not fair, but lack of love is the price she paid for her teachings. Later, in my 30s she asked me why I never talk to her much or share many details of my life with her. We had a good heart to heart about how this approach in her parenting led to my distancing from her. While we'll never be close at least we had an adult understanding and she apologized and wishes things were different regrets her actions. It'll never be perfect between us but I will say to those out there it can get better as you grow older. Parents who can't apologize to a child. It's okay to have human emotions and moment to be triggered or struggling and lash out or be wrong but for the love of all things good apologize and change. My parents are allergic to apologizing when they fuck up. On the rare occasions they acknowledge they fucked up. Pisses me off to high hell. Your own children being afraid of you. No child should be afraid of the person that looks after them nearly 24 stroke 7. I really don't think it clicks till adolescence either when you look back and realize that you really were terrified of your father 24 stroke 7 as a child. I was molested from age 3-6. Told my parents, but they did nothing. In my 20s, my mom had the audacity to tell me that I asked for it. As far as I'm concerned, I don't have a mother anymore. 6-11 for me, by my maternal grandfather. When I told my mom about it years later, she said it wasn't that big a deal. Up, uh, yes it was, mom. Good old grandpa molested all four of his kids, and tried to carry on the family tradition. He finally stopped when I stood up to him. My mom sure didn't. I volunteer at have had student placements at a children's hospital and we've had patients with serious brain injuries due to abuse, shaking, attempted drowning, etc. Dart. So yeah I'd say those parents are pretty bad. When I was maybe 9 we lived in some apartments one night I heard a baby crying and crying but it sounded like it was outside. I looked out my window and saw a man holding a pillow over a baby's face trying to kill it. I freaked out and told my mom and she called the cops. 
Years later I met a woman with a child who had very very severe delays mentally and physically and she is telling me the story of how she got away from her abusive ex-husband. In an odd series of coincidence over 20 years later I reconnected with my neighbor from those apartments. That was the worst thing I have ever seen in my life. Edited. Thank you all so much for the outpouring of love for my mom. I told her it has deemed her a hero. I am sure you guys made her day. Yelling at the kid for every trivial thing. I once got yelled at and falsely accused of doing something because I said no the wrong way. I said no but apparently in order to say no properly you need to wait a couple seconds before applying because you don't have enough time to analyze the situation. Your kids never visiting once they move out or go to college. Oh it's me. You've caught me. Both of my parents got separated this year and both of them will be enjoying Christmas alone. They have truly reaped what they have sown. Saying things like you're such a disappointment I wish I had a daughter instead you ruined my and your mother's sex life this is stuff I heard for years. What the actual hell. That's just messed up. Ironically, never thinking you're a bad parent. I was assigned to arrange a free parenting with love and logic course a bit late in the evening for our school. I thought given the time the class was, lots of parents of some of the challenging kids who work, could make it to the class. Within a very short time, the class was full. I attended the class to and noticed the parents I saw were either teachers or parents of well behaved kids. I felt so naive to think parents of naughty kids would even bother to show up. This still makes me sad to this day. You're the reason I'm stuck with your father. Sure mom, sure. My favorite response to that is, I didn't pick him, you did. Saying you're too young to be depressed and ignoring red flags from mental illnesses. This as well as punishing your kids for self-harming or being suicidal, instead of not getting them any kind of help. Never saying sorry to the kid when the parents make a mistake. This. My mom has extreme accountability issues. Nothing is ever her fault. I'm 43M. And after therapy this year I finally confronted her about the abuse I suffered as a kid emotional from her, and physical from my dad. You know what she told me? That my behavior was the reason she and dad had marital problems, and if I had just tried to be a better kid, the whole family could have been happier. I'm very minimal contact with her for so, so many reasons. Blaming your own mistakes and regrets on your kids. And on the flip side, living vicariously through your children because of your own mistakes and regrets. IDK if this really screams it, but I absolutely hate when adults tell other adults their children's shameful secrets for no reason even strangers it tells me those children probably don't feel like they can trust their parents. This was my mom. She knows absolutely nothing about my personal life now as an adult, I don't tell her anything I wouldn't feel comfortable telling a stranger. Demeaning your children as means of punishment. The shame game. Brutal. Triangulation. After divorce, one of our parents immediately weaponized our relationship against the other. I'm 32 and still unwebbing all of the details in my brain. Edit. It hurts my heart to know so many can relate. But it warms my heart to be reminded that I'm not alone. My mom did this big time with us. Behave or I'll send you to your father's was a threat as a kid. Never really knew my dad or why they got divorced. He's dead, so I know I'll never get the actual reasons or facts on it. Edit. To clarify, mom didn't kill him. They divorced then he died years later. Making your child think they aren't good enough. My mom once told me you're a screw up and you'll always be a screw up. I still think about that every time life isn't going my way or I'm feeling bad. Treating your son as the man of the house because you're single. Goes right up there with treating your oldest daughter as the stand-in mom because you're single. 
always believing they're right because they're the adult and therefore not letting the child have any say. If I had a dime for every time I heard this as a kid, I'd have had my therapy paid for well into my 40s. Treating your kid as your therapist. My mom found a love note to my dad from his mistress, which included a condom. That day, she picked me up from school, 9th grade, drove a few minutes down the road in an angry silence, then suddenly pulled over and thrust this letter in my face. She then proceeded to come into my room, crying, a number of times over the next couple of years to tell me about their problems and the divorce. Meanwhile, just after the divorce, my dad used me as his relationship therapist with his mistress turned girlfriend. At one point I snapped and yelled I've never even been on a date, how would I know about any of this? Automatically dismissing and invalidating many of your child's opinions because you think since they're a child, they don't know anything. Yes they're not always right, but they're still people and should be treated with respect. Adding to the respect factor. Saying a child has to respect you first no matter what cause respect your elders like what if the elder in question is being a straight up asshole. Using children as pawns in divorces or separations. My niece's father just called his 7 year daughter to tell her to make her mother apologize for blocking his number last night. He is upset she won't listen to him scream at her. Kids are opening presents and he's screaming vulgarities at his daughter. Dad of the year right there. So yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. Telling your kid that you need them only for their money in the future. One day we will all live on the same plot of land so that you can still take care of me. I've got a life to live, stop holding me back with your already health issues you cause yourself because you've been deadbeat for the past 20 years, mob. Deleted. Or social media in general deleted. Maybe I'm just jaded, however I think a lot of people place their entire identity and purpose onto their children and need to keep those children helpless and clueless as not to lose that. All subconsciously of course. Attacking the self-esteem in any way. Yeah, hearing your own mom call you a fat ass is a bit of a damper on the self-esteem.